Common sense tells you that if a force is so powerful that it can create a new life, keeping it within you is going to have positive creative effect, and losing it is going to drain them from you. Brahmacharya means to attain self, realization or get to know your true self. When you practice Brahmacharya, you gain power and real freedom free from those desires. The sexual degradation that has overtaken mankind today is due directly to the fact that people have assumed that there is a natural sexual instinct in human beings. It is not so. The natural instinct is the procreative one. If men and women restrict sexual indulgence to mere procreation, then that itself is the observance of brahmacharya. As this is found to be impossible in the vast majority of cases, total abstinence is enjoined on those who seek the higher values of life. It's not as easy as you think. The whole society is revolving around materialistic pleasures and sensual pleasures. The sensual force is one of the strongest forces which cause action in humans. To have the control you need to willingly give up all the habits which bring thoughts related to sensual pleasures and lusts. This is very difficult. Example, you remain celibate for five days, and you may think you've controlled your senses. But the impulse can occur at any moment and change your momentum from brahmacharya to lust. Now I will tell you how it is blissful. 1. One gains full control of the mind and senses. Now you would be more powerful than 99% of the population whose world revolves around materialistic and sensual pleasures. This can help you achieve the impossible dream you have. 2. One feels energetic all the time, and you would be able to work more, play more and be happy for more time. 3. One starts appreciating the real beauty that is in nature and God, not in those pieces of flesh fully decorated with chemicals. 4. I've seen almost most people work, and the rest of the time their minds is revolving around sensual pleasures. Now if you control your mind and senses you will realize that these beautiful girls and the so-called overboasted pleasures are just an illusion and are temporary. If you like infinity, and don't like limits you will definitely benefit from brahmacharya. 5. Some health benefits. Extra energy. The brain starts working faster. The face starts looking vibrant without creams. Chakra memory. The biggest example of bliss in Brahmacharya is one and only Isaac Newton. If you carefully look, all the persons who have impacted the world and are in history are Brahmacharis or have embraced Brahmacharya in their life for some time at least. If you have some purpose in life and want to impact the world in a good way, this is the road to be taken. It takes time to control the senses, and the one who masters them is the king. The easiest way is to keep yourself busy. The starting days are very tough, but after one or two months it would be normal. There are chances of relapse because of too much arousal from the newspapers to the internet. But this relapse can be controlled. 1. Brahmacharya is an individual's journey from human to superhuman, from man to god. Every Brahmachari has his own ways. They come along with the journey. Undoubtedly, the journey of Brahmacharya is difficult. But just think that we don't find any joy in doing easy things. It is the beauty of Brahmacharya. It gives ineffable bliss to the one who attains it. 2. Once the student asked his teacher to annihilate the lust from him, he replied to him if I wish I can make you free from the lust but you will not enjoy the brahmacharya thus obtained as you will miss the joy of struggle. 3. In order to attain brahmacharya, you must have a strong goal that is more significant than the petty needs of your body. Set a goal and put your whole energy to attain it. Keep yourself obsessed with that goal alone and your mind will not find a time to become prey to the lust. 4. Never seek brahmacharya but seek self-realization or how to attain your goal. Brahmacharya will be a side effect of your passion for self-realization and the goal. Many scientists have been Brahmacharis not because they want to become Brahmachari, but just because they found their experiments more important than the petty needs of the body. They are not denying nature or body, but they are touching another dimension of their intellect and curiosity. All the best on this beautiful journey. May you enjoy it and become the bliss giver.